Let me ask you this. The NCAA Eligibility Center, when does a student athlete, when should they register for that? And why do you need to register? So you need to register um, for one, so they could process your your paperwork, your academic credentials, and and you also have to you know fill out a questionnaire for your amateurism, like list the teams that you've played on and your coaches and the contact information, and did you you know receive actual necessary expenses? And that, that's that I'm glad I'm not in that department. I'm in the academic side. That is, ooh, that is hard stuff. Um, but you have to be able to register. You have to register in order to take an official visit, number one. So okay. an official visit is a paid visit from the member institution. They're paying for you to come and visit for a certain amount of time and, and you know, spend the night on campus and do all the campus things. Um, personally, I would definitely register no later than the end of your, you know, the no later than the end of your junior year. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I've had kids register a lot later because th it's not on their radar, right? Like they get, they're being recruited at like a later age or they just didn't think that they had to do it. Um, but for me, it would be no later than after your junior year. It, I would probably do it the end of my sophomore year, then a 10th grade and not necessarily turn a transcript in at that moment, but just going through the registration process, getting your ID number that you can share with coaches. You can say, that's a good recruiting tool. Hey, coach, here, I'm already registered with the eligibility center. Here's my NCID number, you know, add me to your institution request list or what is known as an IRL, right? Um, so you're actively recruiting me. Like that's, I mean, that's what I would do. Or if you're a very strong student academically, send in your six semester transcript, and try to meet the early academic qualifier uh, requirements, which are there's more stringent academic requirements. You're waived through after your junior year as an early academic qualifier. All you have to do on the back end is turn your final transcript in with proof of graduation. So then you're sitting after your 11th grade year as a final academic qualifier. Like you can tell the coaches, hey, I've already been through the eligibility center academically. I'm already a yes. All I have to do is graduate. I mean, obviously, do well your 12th grade year, but in graduate, but that's all I have to do. So really you should do that as a student athlete to make it easier for the college recruiting you. And that way they're not spending as much bandwidth. And if it is too much bandwidth, try to figure this out. They just might move on to somebody else who's gotten this taken care of. Ye possibly. Okay. All right. Possibly. Never hurt. You look, Hey, people are looking for every advantage out there. Holly, this could be just one that only makes it easier. Like if you got two kids that are the exact same kid, everything else, but this yeah. kid's already taken care of, but the eligibility center coaches look for the path of at least resistance too. So, and I could totally say that domestically now internationally, yeah. it's a little bit different. So if a student is completely international and a coach is over at some showcase and sees this student and they're in 12th grade and they have to have them and they're not registered. And that's, you know, when the institution contacts me and says, okay, we have this student from this country, here's all their credentials do an academic review, send it to us. And then we'll, and then it'll be, you know, if it's a no, then they're going to tell, they're just going to stop recruiting. If it's yep. a yes, they're going to get, the, they're going to work with the kid, get the kid registered, everything sent in. So I'm kind of doing a pre initial eligibility evaluation before they actually go through the whole, the whole system and waste the, and waste the time. Perfect. If, if, if the student's a no.